insecurity. Imo residents raise alarm over influx of strangers, hunters in Imo state. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people of South Freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this um, wonderful day in Biafra land. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you've not yet subscribed, make sure you turn on your notification because that is the only way you can get notified whenever we drop our spanky news. Without wasting much of your time, make we go straight to the news. The news in details. Residents of Imu have raised an alarm over the influence of influx of stranger hunters in the state. They act added that daily these strangers are being dumped by trailers into avu obinze in a very west local government area and several other suburbs a resident of Owere municipal who pleaded anonymity said over 90 percent of commercial motorcycles in obinze avu and futo areas are unknown faces and, and they barely speak Igbo. He compared the presence of strangers in Imo to what obtained in Plateau, urging security agencies to take appropriate actions. If we are not careful with the daily influx of strange elements into Imo state, I'm afraid the state may be worse than Plateau, where hundreds are slaughtered in one snap, the residents stated. I was in Futo in Oweri recently and discovered that more than 90% of Okada riders inside the school are strangers. This is how it took root in Plateau State. Gradually, they are penetrating every nook and cranny of the state. Let me tell you that I have the history of Plateau in my palms. I was born in Manguna a little village in Bokos, more than 63 years ago. My father used to be a cattle herder before finally relocating home in 1990. I see a particular pattern of plateau crisis taking root in Imo. We really need to be careful. You should ask yourself, why these strangers often choose to congregate close to military establishments we should be alert and find a way to protect ourselves from the unknown enemies surrounding us our security agencies too should step up actions and interrogate these set of strangers know their mission and where they sleep at night in order not to be taken unawares when they strike Another resident who pleaded anonymity said, As we speak, another trailer load of strange persons and dogs are currently at Njaba rivers entering the capital city of Oweri. Some are dumped at Avu Junction and Nekede Cluster Market. All military and police checkpoints should not allow the offloading of these people and their dogs in Imo, again, he added. It's actually amazing that with all this alarm people are raising, the government and security agencies have not come to make a statement, no clarification as to know the intents and missions of these strange hunters. All we are saying is the security and safety of all immolites is sacrosanct. Any single security alert should be looked into by the police and army in order not to be taken unawares. Reacting to the development, Henry Okoye, the Imo State Police spokesman, spokesperson said the command was yet to ascertain if the said hunters were actually dumped in Imo State. He's still yet to ascertain the Indiana or security agencies. Let us finalize with the news. Finally, we had all the information that it didn't happen in Imo State. Henry Okoye said, but I don't know where, where and when it happened. That was why it took me time to respond because we were actually making our findings, Okoye said. 
in a similar vein. Bright a Defe, the Delta State Police spokesperson, said the hunters were intercepted at Agbo in Delta State, and after profiling, the police discovered that they were indeed hunters. May God forgive peddlers for fake news, he said. These were hunters intercepted in Agbo, Delta State, a Defa said. After profiling them, we discovered that they were indeed hunters. Yet people are saying the direct opposite, even saying it happened in Emo State when it did not. I repeat, may God forgive the peddlers of fake news. You actually, I'm, I'm, I've started my um, analysis. Please do not forget to also, you know, subscribe to this channel and make sure you share this particular news because it is very important especially you know if you are in biafran land because emo state is um one of um, the strong focal points in biafran land that is why these people have been trying to penetrate emo state look at everything that is happening it is currently in emo state because of how strong emo state is when it comes to the biafran struggle now the police are saying that this is a false alarm. <laughs> okay, the same police who won't know I may any little theft or any little issues. The next thing you hear is that we have concluded that the attack was caused by the Eastern Security Network. Stop playing. <laughs> Any became aba aba eben to tua. The next thing or aba knockout. The next thing you hear is that we discovered fifty five m um, in Eastern Security Network hideout. <laughs> now the same Henry Okoye and the rest of them. Now we don't the talk say na false alarm because it don't consign full any his men. Oh, you don't know. I'm not actually surprised that um that um Futo and Obinze that Aziz is actually the den where these people are clustering. Let me tell you what is gonna happen. Let me tell you what is happening. I schooled in Futo. I graduated in Futo, and um, in as much as it it wasn't this strong. You know when i was in photo but the last i checked the last i checked all motorcyclists are you know these full and guys they don't even really speak our so that is even the funniest thing and that is the most scary thing and do you know why they always choose you know these checkpoints these military checkpoints you see them hiding at mommy and the rest of them um, this military market is because of they are sure that the military will always protect them so they are doing this under the guise of the military protection you need to see how i'm clarifying this thing they are doing this under the guise, under the covering of the military protection. See, see what is happening. And God, uh, it's, it's actually becoming scary. It is getting scary because um, I know it will not get to the point of what is happening in Plateau State, actually. The reason why I believe it will not get to this point is that we have men on ground. We have the issue in Plateau State is that everybody is Araho, Yotara has Araho instead of still creating their own their own vigilante that will protect their own people. The government is not ready to protect you. You must understand that. The military is not ready to protect you. You must understand that. Because they are working with them. Quote me anywhere. Or oh, you think the issue, you know, of the hairsmen and bandits, you know, that is terrorizing Plateau and the rest of these days. You think they cannot be handled, you know, 
You think the Nigerian soldiers cannot handle them? They cannot, actually, in the right sense, because, because of the fact that 80 percent of these bandits are linking you know to are linked rather to the military the military man what's up they know what is happening they know what they are doing it is their people not them them so when you hear you know prime minister simon Epa referring to the military as the terrorists people do not understand Look at how they have started to cluster. They don't they package themselves. It's not only in even in Imo State. It's not only in Imo State. Even in Enugu and um, um, Enugu, some part in Enugu and um, in Ebony State also. Why do you think that um, every other tribe is trying to fight? the um the indigenous people of biafra and them um, their militants win currently now they are trying to fight you know simon Epa. I, I, have you actually asked yourself why any small thing chief of defense staff akoro simon Epa no no on a maybe here on a corner if you people come to the understanding that them um, simon Epa is actually working for you guys low key low key people do not understand let's imagine that there is no biafran liberation army i'm no more calling eastern security network until i start seeing you know what they are doing currently you know because the last time i checked the prime minister himself actually clarified that you know what we have currently and what is working currently is the biafran liberation army and that is what we are seeing i'm not i'm not gonna um you know dispute the fact that eastern security network did their work you know they actually did their work during that was when, you know, Mazi Namdekano was still around. Since the abduction of Mazi Namdekano and the emergence of the DOS taking over, we've seen how, we've seen how, you know, the, the Eastern Security Network have just gone low key and it's as if nothing is happening. So let's focus on what the Prime Minister Simon Epa is actually doing in Biafran land for you guys. Because of those who have vowed that um, the Prime Minister Simon Epa is their problem. If we don't have gallant warriors, you know, scattered all over Biafran land who are ready to take on these guys mercilessly. What is happening in Plateau State would have started happening in Biafran land. And I am 100% sure about it. When I for don't they hear bombing, this one, that one. Do you remember th there was a time you know, this same thing now that we were complaining just started happening in Imo State. You just see trailer who just come and drop, you know, lot of people, unknown faces, rugged, unknown faces. They are ready to do suicide bombing in Imo State. That time, BH came out and were killing and bombing and so many people in the northern part of the country. But all of a sudden, when Mazenam de Kanu came, in his intelligence, he knew the plan of these people. Of course, of course, the so-called, um, your, your so-called rulers, that is the governors, 
do not give a damn about you him and Onka. at least that one we are 100 percent sure now we are 100 percent sure with them um, the problem that the country is facing nigeria as a whole we know that um, these leaders do not have you at heart i'm 100 percent sure about that so look at those of them is their brother up when you may bury the root now you give them the road why wouldn't they choose emo state they will definitely choose emo state because they they have their governor there who pose or them mawo their governor hati right here a man who sold out the state who sold out his brothers and sisters just to acquire that power all he has to do is to give the order security agencies no way pan you know remove your eyes you know see anything and that is all you need the order leave them let them come in the security agencies a way and they will flow in and the military will protect them and that is why they are choosing obins the axis and when you know prime minister Epa was talking about the atrocities happening in obinze obinze you people did not understand there are so many atrocities happening in obinze you'll be so scared to enter emu state because you don't know when these atrocities will erupt and turn to a time bomb That is the level it has gotten. So when we continue to say, embrace the struggle and support the struggle, the best you can do is to embrace and support the struggle because that is the only thing we have today to survive in this land as Biafra. All we have is Biafra and we have to do everything possible to make sure it comes sooner or later. That is all we have, and that is what is the only thing that is giving us hope. On that note, I say thank you once again for joining us on this wonderful YouTube platform. Yes, it's your boy once again who is always giving you the back-to-back -back news and information. I am loyal. I will always give you the information as it is hot. All you have to do is to continue to support this wonderful YouTube channel support us send us a message right now and show your support to our channel we need your support and definitely that is the only way we can function well support us send us a message and we will give you you know the account details on how you can show your support to our channel god bless you once again for choosing us god bless you and continue to Choose this wonderful YouTube channel for your more news and information.